viewers, welcome to Bellaton TV here and here after Friends for Friends show. I'm your host Emily Furaha and today I'm presenting episode 8 of the show. Okay, on today's to topic we're discussing about friendship and a romantic relationship. So sometimes friendship is the route to a romantic relationship and sometimes friendship gets spoiled on the way and sometimes we even have to cut off the French the friendship that we had for us to to build the romantic relationship so okay today we're just going to discuss on the things that happen before we cross to the other side and we we decide to become lovers so with me here are my guests and we're going to discuss on that issue introduce yourselves to the viewers i'm jane zai Hello, I'm MJ. Okay, so here with me is Nzai. I hope you remember him from the first episode on childhood friendship. So, um, you guys, welcome to the show. Thank I hope you, you are you. fine. Uh, when, when you see two people of opposite sex walking together, you know, walking around campus, walking around in the streets, and they do things together, they walk together, they eat together, they do a lot together. What comes to your mind? Mm, a lot of things, it depends on uh, actually what is perception in mm -hmm. terms of how are they relating, mm -hmm. how close are they, mm -hmm. and what are some of the things that they, they are doing together. Yeah. Uh, for us, even to start uh, thinking of maybe they're involved in uh, romantic relationship or mm -hmm. just friends. Mm -hmm. So the things that they usually do mm -hmm. when they're together, the ones that are going to define whether they are more than friend uh, in terms of uh, romantic relationship or maybe they're just friends. Yeah. yeah. And what about you, MJ? Okay, personally, if I see two people relating in an otherwise way that doesn't suggest they are brother or sister, mm -hmm. then I'll definitely think they're in a relationship like they're dating. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing that will come in my mind is not they're just friends. Yeah. Because I see them together uh, very many times. I yeah. see them doing uh, things in a, in a very loving way. Mm -hmm. So uh, in my head, I'll just think, ah, they're dating. They're just not friends. Yeah, unless you find out that they yes. are just friends. Yes. So what do you think of, of opposite sex friendship? Uh, opposite sex friendship is actually something very nice because um, we are human beings and we, we have errors. Um, mm -hmm. That is gender speaking, gender wise. Because for us ladies, we love talking a lot. Mm -hmm. So you might find, I have a friend who is uh, of my of the same sex as me, mm -hmm. and um, he uh, she has uh, some weaknesses. So I want to talk about those weaknesses mm -hmm. to other people, not her. So uh, different gender or different sex friendship is uh, the best for me because uh, you know I I actually men I know they don't have uh, characters like us ladies. Mm -hmm. They will <laughs> they will not want to to talk about things to other men or yeah. other ladies. Yeah. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that men are somehow secretive. And mm -hmm. actually very sensitive with things that you tell them. So, yeah. uh, different uh, sex um, relationship or friendship, best for me. Yeah. What hmm. do you think? I, there's no harm. Yeah. Okay, I think I will go back to what I was saying. Like, kind of, it depends on to what level or mm. what are yeah. some of the things that you yeah. do together. Mm -hmm. So, if maybe you can even know opposite sex, mm -hmm. but uh, there are things that you can do together. Yeah. Not necessarily like uh, uh, what she's saying, and in terms of when they are lady alone, mm. there are some things that they cannot talk about yeah. unless they are talking about another lady, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. in her absence. But uh, when now she's mingling with a gentleman, mm -hmm. she feels like kind of the things that are going to talk about, not necessarily talking about someone, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So I think in that uh, scenario, I think it's okay, it's okay. Uh, to have uh, friends that are opposite sex. Okay, yeah. so most of the times, uh, friends of opposite sex become more than friends in the end. So what do you think when, when you see friends of opposite sex, do you think that it lasts or just it, it's other, th other, other relationships do last and others don't, you know? Like yeah. what do you think exactly when, when you see them? And, you're like, and people tell you that, no, they are not even lovers, they are just friends. And in your mind, you're like, no, it won't even last. The way I see this, no, I think it won't last. Okay. So do you think it's always like the same? Um, 
this is the 21st century and uh, most things are really changing. Mm -hmm. Back then, if you see two people of opposite sex are relating too much, they're interacting too much, they mm -hmm. want to, to shop together, they want to work together, definitely you'll, you'll want to say these people are going to, to date and later mm -hmm. get married. Mm -hmm. But these days, I think uh, people are now getting open-minded. So uh, friendship of opposite sex doesn't really mean it will end there. Mm -hmm. People these days are in relationships, like romantic relationships, but still they keep the, the friendship for opposite sex. Like yeah. they, they just want to have someone closer uh, closer than a brother or closer than a lover, mm -hmm. something like that, you see, yeah. so that you, you can do fun things with them, things that don't really necessarily uh, revolve around romance or, yeah, stuff like that. Okay, to you and I, do you think, do you think, like, um, you can differentiate to people that lovers, these are lovers, when you see, like, this kind of, of relationship, then these are lovers and these are friends, can you differentiate there? I think we need to go back to define uh, specifically what friendship means, yeah. okay? And uh, if I can uh, bring it uh, forward, it's like these are people that you can share a lot of things. Yeah. You can talk to them, mm -hmm. uh, things that you, you cannot talk, talk to your uh, family. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about families, they're like your sister, your brothers, yeah. uh, your parents. There are some things that you cannot really talk to them, but you have someone here who you are so much free with them mm -hmm. that you can talk to, uh, uh, to can talk to. Mm -hmm. Now, if there are things mm -hmm. that a human being can feel uh, uh, so much acquainted to, like I can talk to MJ about my own things, mm -hmm. not uh, worrying that maybe she will, uh, yes, or maybe she will judge me. Mm -hmm. You know, those things, they don't matter whether they are bad things or good things. Good things. Provided I, I trust MJ, whenever I talk to her, I know I've at least, at least let something out, yeah. but she will keep that one, okay? Yeah. Now, if we see such people, like, kind of, uh, they have that kind of relationship, whether they don't suggest otherwise, okay? Mm -hmm. In terms of, uh, even if they, it's going to, uh, they are going out together, but what do they do when they go out? Yeah. Do they do things that maybe the lovers do? Mm -hmm. If they do things that lovers do, then you can say, okay, this one, it's not just uh, friendship, mm -hmm. but it has something mm -hmm. on top of it. Yeah. But if they do uh, normal things that everyone else can do, yeah. things that me and you can do, yeah. if she does with another guy, then that's okay. It's but fine. if there's something extra, mm -hmm. then that way we can say, no, this one is more than. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's more than friendship. Mm -hmm. So uh, for, for people who are friends and they, they, they end up being lovers, so when when do people cross the line of friendship and they say like let's take it to another level okay there's a there's a famous saying that says uh, marry your best friend mm -hmm. but f before you get to marriage of course you'll go through courtship or what most people understand as mm -hmm. dating so before you date again you have to be to start from friendship mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so uh where people cross the line is, uh, I think when, when two friends have been in that friend zone for mm -hmm. quite a, some time, they've understood each other. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you are friends with somebody else, mm -hmm. you become comfortable around them. Mm -hmm. You want to tell them things that, uh, that really matter, mm -hmm. like very personal stuff about yourself, about your family, about how you feel about something or someone, you mm -hmm. know without really feeling bad or without feeling uh, this guy is going to judge me or something like that. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, if a lady and a guy are friends, they've been friends for quite some time, of course they are talking about stuff. You know, in, in friendship you just don't sit around and just go eat or mm -hmm. walk. Or yeah. Of course you are talking. So if, um, if a guy and a lady, they have, they have talked, they have been talking and talking and talking, of course we are human beings and there's that mutual feeling that mm -hmm. uh, sometimes both of them might feel. Yeah, yeah there is trust. And then uh, there's love, mm -hmm. but uh, love, like not that love uh, yeah, for between a friend. friend. Yeah. yeah, you want to, to move it to the next relation, to the next uh, level. So if if both feel that, uh, um, you know, some some things are like in English they call them nonverbal cues. Mm -hmm. They you don't have to say them in order for people to to see or hear. Mm -hmm. There are some things that you can just do, and this person will see. This person is trying to suggest something. Yeah. So uh, to reach a level in which friends decide to to bring their friendship into a, a relationship, then it means they, they've really considered a lot of factors. Can I trust this person? Mm -hmm. Yes. He or she knows totally everything about me. Yeah. 
uh, we have we enjoy doing the same things. Mm-hmm. I enjoy criticizing him or her in a good way, yeah. and I love the way he he or she repri- re- reprimands me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like I'm just comfortable around him yeah. or her, and I I I really will want to spend the rest of my life with them. Mm-hmm. So, I think when people start uh, getting these ideas of uh, I trust this, this person, I I feel comfortable around them, mm-hmm. and all that stuff, then I think they're ready now to move their friendship to to a relationship. So for you, it's about trusting this person. It's about trust. It's about being comfortable around them. But how about if I'm just comfortable and I'm, I trust this person, but it's just a friend to me. Yeah, now you see, uh, <laughs> it is quite complicated because one person can be having that feeling, yeah. but the feeling is not mutual. It's just, yeah, yeah, it's just that, like, you, you now the guy might be feeling, I mean, I just feel, the way I've told, I've said about non verbal cues, I just feel, I'm just feeling this lady, Bana. So it's, it's about the feeling, not yeah. about... Like, no, it it is more than just a feeling because that guy is feeling me, but me I'm not feeling him. Me I'm just feeling him like a friend, not mm-hmm. like a yeah. something extra. So, yeah. with, with the inside, do you do you believe? Do you believe in like dating a, a best friend? Do you believe in that? If you if first I may uh, go back to what uh, MG was saying, mm-hmm. you know, friends, huh? mm-hmm. as we say that like you know, people that you can trust. Mm-hmm. But we have to remember that these are people that maybe you share a lot of things. Mm-hmm. For for us to become together like friends, mm-hmm. we must have shared. We we share some aspect of uh, interest, uh, and yes, hobbies. Now those things are the ones that brought us together. Mm-hmm. Now it reaches a time where, like, you have done all those things together and you feel so much comfortable with the, uh, with, with yeah. one another mm-hmm. until like kind of. If those developments of such and feelings of like you kind know, of can I move to the next level, mm-hmm. okay? On my side, I don't think that uh, you can even come and say, by the way, uh, how do you see our friendship? Can we like take it to the next level? Yeah, it's yeah. something of like you kind know, of I may find myself doing some things that are not necessarily done by just friends, yeah. okay? Yeah. Then the other half is like it's not like kind of maybe the person will just go and say, "What? Why are you doing and the this?" The other person is they not become complaining. Com- yes, yeah. he's not complaining. Now that step by step, mm-hmm. you find yourself like you know, in so much like away from being just friends, yeah. you have crossed the line. Yeah. So I don't think there is a a, a, a really line a where period, we can now say no. This is the time like, that we can take mm-hmm. it to the next level. Yeah. Now. On the, uh, the next question that you're asking about, like, if I believe yeah. uh, uh, dating your best, best friends, mm-hmm. uh, it's a nice thing mm-hmm. because we all know that even if uh, we don't have friends, mm-hmm. okay, that maybe we can say we can date them, but we know one aspect of uh, uh, that can make a relationship like strong is if you can be a fr- uh, friend of that person, mm-hmm. that partner of yours, mm-hmm. apart from you being together as lovers but you need to be friends so you 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 know how there there are people who are not friends like the first sight love you know they just meet and they they become lovers yes but how do you bring the aspect of friendship inside the the relationship now that thing of first uh, sight lovers Mm -hmm. kind of it happens sometimes as they come into your life you realize then that you share a lot of things Mm -hmm. okay perception that like okay ah, Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know, but now you know. Yeah. Okay? Now, those aspects where now we can form together because you know those are the aspects that can mm-hmm. bring you as friends, mm-hmm. but you are already in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So, those aspects, you, uh, they make you understand one another very simple. But if maybe, like, we are not saying that all of those aspects can bring about, like, yeah. a health relationship. Mm-hmm. There are those there are things that maybe when uh, you bring them in, then you find out maybe they are so much different to what yeah, you are thinking. Yeah, okay, yeah. now can bring problem in that. Mm-hmm. Now you won't be able to have friendship in that relationship. Yes. Okay. Now according to me, if you are in a relationship that doesn't have friendship in it, mm-hmm. then you are in a big problem. Mm-hmm. Yes. So just to add on what Nzai mm-hmm. has said uh, concerning uh, love at first sight and uh, friendship in in that relationship, friendship in uh, love at first sight uh, relationship is a fifty-fifty thing. Mm-hmm. You don't know this person. You just yeah. saw them and you fell in love with them. Yeah. If I ask you, wh- why did you fall in love with them? You don't even know. Yeah. You ju- I just love him. Yes. So, um, him or her. Mm-hmm. So I think the only way these people can be helped is uh, by them sitting down and tracing mm-hmm. 
how the relationship started. Mm-hmm. How w- w- were we friends first? No. What happened? We, we, you saw me, I saw you, we were in love and mm-hmm. that is it. Yeah. So after they've realized that, then they can say, do you want to be friends? Yes, in as much so as you are, ask him, yeah. you ask him. Uh, yes, do you want to be friends in as much as you're in a relationship? Yes, because obviously you can't be in a relationship with someone whom you can't understand each other with. Yeah. You will quarrel that and understanding fight. comes a long way. Yes, you know? so after Maybe. they have realized if they want to be friends, then they can start doing things that friends do, yeah. like going out, eating, and talking stuff that just basic stuff that friends can talk about. Yeah. What do you love? I love watching movies. You, I love sleeping. You, I love eating. Yeah, such stuff. And mm-hmm. then by and by, they'll have formed a stronger friendship mm-hmm. and even a stronger relationship okay sometimes friends want to cross the line like let's say you and i are friends you want to cross the line but you you are not sure of how i feel and you tell me about how you feel and i disappoint you like i just want us to be friends you know i just want to to be friends with you it's just a pure friendship nothing else maybe i'm even dating someone else you know and mm-hmm. i just want it to remain like we are just friends i'm happy with the way things are so most of the times uh friends find themselves in that situation and they are like uh i, w- I want us to date but then like i'm not interested in dating my my best friend and sometimes it's really hard you know for for us to get the friendship back to where it was so how do we go about it uh that's the reason why uh we need to make sure that there there is no boundary there is no time set to, mm-hmm. for us to say we can move to the next mm-hmm. level because you know that is uh, someone's mind mm-hmm. that will come like by the I'm thinking of telling this lady this thing yeah. if it can be possible yeah. now the feeling that will come is will she be mm-hmm. of the idea yeah. or maybe she will reject yeah. the idea mm-hmm. now you cannot reach to that extent if you have uh, done some things that maybe you see her mm-hmm. she has accommodated uh, you yeah. in doing th- all those things like let's go and have fun somewhere yeah. okay you do things that maybe lovers do maybe you you what do we call it that one like kind of you initiate that you are, that that idea yeah. mm-hmm. then she buys it mm-hmm. okay it's where now you can really understand that even if we go to that extra mile i'm not uh, sure that i'm going to be rejected yeah. but if like pure conscious like we say okay Ah, me, I'm tired of this because you have felt something more. Yes, you are not sure. Tr- maybe you yes. felt it like maybe a month, yes. months ago, and you're like, I have to tell her. Maybe yes. she, she's like purely she doesn't even understand and she's innocent. She's, she's innocent. Like into, she, she's yeah. really into a friendship. Yeah. And now it's you, maybe on the other side, which we cannot uh, uh, blame you because that mm. is feeling. Yeah. But now, how sure are you that you are in the same level? Yes, but, but if then, you are bound like in terms of friendship for so long, mm-hmm. you will be able to understand what, what are the things that maybe if I say, she will agree or she won't agree. Yes, but yeah. then let's say you have now told her or him that now I because it's you who is feeling. And no, remember, I, to disagree yeah. with I want to say in friendship, we have to have boundaries. Yes. And then if you want to move to the next level, we'll talk about it yes. so that both of us agree. Why? Because the same way the guy or the lady one pers- one part in that friendship mm-hmm. will have um, a feeling that is not mutual to both yeah. of us yeah. and then the moment they bring that topic up it mm-hmm. will bring a lot of chaos yes. because a guy will approach me we have been friends for a very long time we've been mm-hmm. sharing stuff same stuff like i'm very comfortable with him i'm very comfortable with, with that friendship but him he feels like i uh, mean i don't love this lady just like a friend yeah. i want to to move to the next yeah. level it's just that one is not allowed in friendship we are supposed to put boundaries yeah so if you if you bring that topic and then you will be disappointed yes because before you come and ask me you'll start having expectations hmm. what if she says yes oh we'll do this and this and this and this you see uh, so me i'm yeah, saying yeah i'm i'm talking about the have. aspect that you've told her <laughs> yeah. or him and then that they yeah they've refused mm-hmm. How do you how do you handle this? Yeah, it? how do you yeah, handle it? I'm saying it? you should give each other personal space. Let that <laughs> friendship end. We go and think about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you know the reason why I'm still like uh, uh, that idea. Like, you don't have really to say this is the time, okay? Mm-hmm. Because if if uh, uh, we, uh, if we can go with what we are saying, mm. like we have to put boundaries like early enough. Mm-hmm. 
is that mean does that mean that like you know we already know that there are some, some things, things like yeah. will happen uh, yes actually that now, was supposed to be my my next question but then like you have to answer <laughs> this one first i have told this person how mm-hmm. i feel because mm-hmm. remember like it's it's a feeling and you don't know that if if the other person it feels the same, same way mm-hmm. and and you are you're like it's been maybe it's been even years you know you you've been feeling this and you're like I have to tell her because if i don't tell her or him i might lose her like and I, yeah. I don't want to lose her. And you tell you tell her or him, and then like they refuse. They refuse. Okay, uh, not not uh, not for me, but since you have said that, if that uh, aspect yeah, happens, yeah, that, because that happens. I don't think that I can uh, go on uh, proposing something that maybe like it's we you, don't you share. can't you can't okay? do that. But then yes. like it now, happens. if it happens, yeah, it if happens. it happens, people if it, do that. If it happens, mm-hmm. I just have uh, uh, to bring it back. Mm-hmm. Is there a way that I can understand this lady? Mm-hmm. I have talked to her, but she has denied that. But do you okay? think even the the friendship will go back to normal after you? It is a uh, there is a possibility. The there is a possibility. I am mm-hmm. disagreeing. There is a possibility, <laughs> and I have a reason. Mm-hmm. There is a possibility. Uh-huh. If that relationship that I wanted to build mm-hmm. started from us being friends, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. There is also a chance that I can take the it back to where it is in mm-hmm. this way whenever i'm proposing to you i'm not like it when they did like you have to accept yeah okay exactly no. i'm but not remember in the idea, these like, are feelings yes. you, you feel something yes you it's like you know you have to accept mm-hmm. i'm coming there with two expectations yeah, yeah. either you deny me that yeah, chance to continue mm-hmm. or you accept but and i have to prepare uh, myself mm-hmm. okay not in terms of breaking this relationship mm-hmm. or this friendship, friendship. Mm-hmm. if she suggests that now since you have talked to me about that thing then i'm not comfortable with this friendship let it be over mm-hmm. that is another thing mm-hmm. but on my side i want to uh, have that answer from mm-hmm. her mm-hmm. defining define our friendship mm-hmm. to me i think i will uh, make it possible for the friendship to continue okay but Yes. Le- allow me say something. <laughs> okay. If if my if my guy friend uh, asks me out to be to 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 take our friendship to another level and I refuse. Mm-hmm. I don't think our, our friendship will be the same again. Mm-hmm. Things will just be awkward between us. Yeah. Like you I'll know go, exactly how exactly. he feels. No, I I will go back and start thinking. No, when did he start even thinking about yeah. his girlfriend and yeah. all that stuff? Yeah, of course, of course, it, of course the friendship it must have can come go, from somewhere. Yeah, of course, the friendship can go back to how it was, but it will take a long time. That's why I said earlier, I think we need personal space. You yeah. go and think about it, and then I go and think about it, and then you can come back and then I say, let us just forget about all this stuff. Yeah. Let us start a friendship or continue from where we left. But there'd be a lot of awkward. Yeah. So it's possible because it every time, possible, like yes, remember. Remember, th- if this person has feelings, exactly. You know? Every time then, they see like, you, before they... we could even walk, uh, mm-hmm. you know, holding, holding hands. hands. But now, when he holds my hand, I feel there's something. You know, you be feeling something. <laughs> so, what I'm okay. Another question is like, when you when you get to cross the line, now you you, you become lovers, mm-hmm. and okay, let's say you you agree. Because mm-hmm. there's an aspect you can agree, and there's an aspect like you've said, you you had like two options. If she agrees, then it's fine. If she doesn't agree, then it's okay. So when you get to be lovers, can you be like normal friendship? Like like can it be a normal friendship, or it's going to be something else? Are we going to to be like we are different, or we're going to be the same? You know. Um, I think if we if we've been friends for quite some time, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, you introduce the aspect of a relationship mm-hmm. and i accept and both of, both of us are okay with it mm-hmm. then uh, i think there will be no awkwardness in that relationship mm-hmm. we'll be just okay mm-hmm. uh, the only there, there are only some new things that we'll want to learn mm-hmm. concerning a relationship in mm-hmm. order to enhance it if you were doing stupid stuff when you were just friends mm-hmm. and then i think in a relationship we'll want to to mature mm-hmm. and uh, say in as much as we are friends we are in a relationship again why are we in a relationship are we in a relationship just because other people are in a relationship are we in a relationship because i love you mm-hmm. and that mutual that uh, feeling is mutual mm-hmm. or are we in a relationship because uh, we were friends we were friends or are we in a relationship because i want to date you and later i want to marry you yeah. you see or there is that aspect of 
date your best friend exactly. and now I, I just wanted to date yeah, my just best friend. Exactly. <laughs> the goals. Now, I, want, I, I think if, if, you, if you've decided now to move into the next level, then there's, mm-hmm. a, there's an aspect of maturity that you're supposed to, to embrace and say now we are, we, are, we are in a relationship, we are supposed to, to think about bigger things. Mm-hmm. You know, when we were friends, we were just thinking about uh, we went to party to LD last week. See, next week we go to Kisumu mm-hmm. or some something yeah. like that. But now we are in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Do you want to, 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 to build or to have greater goals? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you? I think I can uh, conquer with her mm-hmm. uh, in the sense that, uh, as we have been saying, like kind of <laughs> when we are friends, mm-hmm. we share some interests. Mm-hmm. Okay, but then. I don't know uh, uh, someone's uh, perspective, but I can say that in friendship, mm-hmm. there are no commitments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But when now you, you, you pass that boundary until you now become lovers, mm-hmm. there are some commitments that you need to, uh, to be so much uh, serious with. Mm-hmm. There are some things that you cannot do. Okay. Yeah. Because you are in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Being friend, uh, friends with someone is because the person likes you the way you are, mm-hmm. it likes you whatever you do things. Mm-hmm. There's something that you can do even they are bad. Mm-hmm. They are not judging you. Mm-hmm. But now here we are, like we are two people sharing the same things, but now we need to make something, some things work because we are bringing, this is how I want our life to be. Mm-hmm. The other person also bring the same mm-hmm. thing. So you need to have a commitment on that. Yeah. So that commitment level is one like differs from friendship, but as I said, this friendship will make sure that you can easily keep this commitment mm-hmm. because you understand one another. Mm-hmm. So there's a difference between friendship and also uh, and lovers in lovers. terms of relationship, yeah. uh, relationship because those aspects, the commitment part of it is very much important in mm-hmm. lovers. Okay. Yeah. There's someone out there who only believes like this, these people can, can live without boyfriends or girlfriends but they cannot live without friends and they definitely cannot date best friends and we like you've said date your best friend so what can you tell these people uh first of all i'll not want to judge them because everybody has their own personality yeah, yeah. Like I'd say, this is the 21st century. People behave in mm-hmm. whatever way they want to behave, and they have a right of not justifying why they are doing those things. Yeah, yeah. So for those people who who feel like, ah, me, I'm just okay without a boyfriend or a girlfriend, mm-hmm. but I can't do without my friends, mm-hmm. then um, I think they're okay because they usually say home is where the heart is. Mm-hmm. If your heart is where the friends are, mm-hmm. that is where you feel comfortable. Yes. Uh, that is where you feel comfortable. Then I, I really don't think uh, they need the girlfriend or boyfriend that much because mm-hmm. after all, they have friends, they're happy. Yeah. Whether the friends are dating or not, they're happy. So mm-hmm. it's okay. It's okay for them. Mm-hmm. That is good because uh, friends are always our family. Mm-hmm. Because they, they say, even the Bible says, they are friends who can stick closer than a brother, yeah. you see. So sometimes you need your brother, but they're not there. But you need your friends, they are there. Yeah. So for those who, who feel like I can do without a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but I can't do without a friend, mm-hmm. I think they are just okay and they don't need to justify why they are doing that. Mm-hmm. I, I think that is very clear. Okay. Uh, because so uh, uh, you cannot just start looking for friends mm-hmm. because you want to be like MJ who has yeah. friends. Mm-hmm. Or you want to be in a relationship because so and so has yeah. someone yeah. in a relationship. When the heart uh, yearns for, the, for it, yeah. go for it. But mm-hmm. if you are comfortable, just stay where you are. So last mm-hmm. question. Um, there are people out there, you know, who are friends and they are suddenly feeling some kind of, you know, so, and we want them to, if, if they really want to cross the line, like we've said, you know, like Mzai has said, I think like, do we have like step by step, should we give them a procedure? Is there even any procedure that we can follow for us to say like, if you really want to date your best friend, then do this and this. And there are people who do not have friends. Like right now, maybe like they, they were in a relationship or maybe they, are, they, they have friends right now and they have, they, they've been watching and they're like, dating a best friend can be something good. So when I get to a friendship, like let's say I'm, I'm, I've gone to a new place and I want to make friends, but then like I also want to date my best friend. So when I get into a friendship, should I have that aim of like, um, 
in this in this friendship because I wanted some day to work and I wanted to 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 turn into something else. Or when you get to a friendship, should you expect those things to happen? Like should I expect that if I get into a friendship with a man, then it will end up, you know, like to the next level? <laughs> Uh, this aspect of wanting, mm -hmm. okay, uh, according to me, it's not supposed to be like that, mm -hmm. okay? Just if if you have uh, found yourself uh, uh, having a friend, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. just understand that that is friendship, yeah. okay? Something else that maybe will be uh, will built out of that, mm -hmm. that is something that you can address mm -hmm. later. Uh, but you can't even anticipate don't that. start a friendship for the hope of, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you will be like you know, everything maybe. that you are doing you are just striving to that yeah, end yeah. which now it will, it will like, take away this aspect of mm -hmm. this person is just there innocently mm -hmm. being your friend mm -hmm. and then here you are saying okay you are my friend right now but i need something more, yeah. more later mm -hmm. okay and you will be compromising uh, how you are going to be living with this person yeah. so just be there if you have a, a friend or maybe you have a best friend mm -hmm. who you think that you want to take the friendship the next level that's fine because you have found yourself in that yeah, aspect in that but don't look for a friend you build you stay with him or you stay with her hoping that maybe you are coming yeah yeah i i think that that one should uh, not happen yeah, yeah. personally uh, for people who are looking forward to date their to date their best friends that is not bad but um, when you make when you're becoming friends with someone i think it should be very clear yeah. with what you want in in the course of your talking your discussions mm -hmm. can you just come out clean and even just in a joke say hey may i want i one day wish to date my best friend mm -hmm. and then they'll be able to understand your position yeah. even if you bring that thing up at least at the back of their mind they, they'll say eh yeah, he mentioned about this sometimes back. Yeah. It will not be awkward. So for those people who are looking forward to date their best friends, mm -hmm. if you are becoming friends with someone, come out clean. Tell them this is what I want. Be that is what friendship is. That is like you d you define yeah, everything. Yeah, just define everything. Because mm -hmm. if one day that will, if you will find yourself in a situation where I, I feel I'm just feeling something more than friendship with this person, then it will not be awkward. Yeah. But I feel like that feeling just comes not that you you might maybe i might even be in, in another relationship like i have a boyfriend and then we get into a friendship and then later maybe like a, i just realize that something is is happening you know it's not something that you can define like like i want this to happen you know you maybe you don't even expect that it will happen but then like it, it happens then i think there it will be a matter of um respecting boundaries yeah this person is dating they're my best friend mm -hmm. yes i want uh, to be in a relationship with them but they trusted me enough yeah. to be their best friend what so if i'm if i'm not dating but then like this is yeah me having feelings for them is very very offensive mm -hmm. because i'll be destroying that aspect of respect mm -hmm. i am not respecting their personal space mm -hmm. i just know this guy i uh, know it will not work so apana it just has to just respect the boundaries. <laughs> but you can't control the feeling. Yeah, you can can't. Hey, you can't control the feeling, but... Um, uh, the your, cho your choice will uh, the one that will matter. Mm. Whether you proceed yeah, you with... Yeah, you will a, have to make a, a choice. Like, yes, with tolerating with your feelings. Because maybe like along the way, because like along the way, I was in a relationship when we got to this mm -hmm. friendship. And along the way, maybe like I broke up with my boyfriend, oh. maybe because he thought mm. I was spending too, too much, much time, time with you. this. Yeah. Mm. So like, and now, and for me it was just pure friendship and it's okay. And then like along the way, then something develops, you know. You um, can't control you that. Can't control, it just No, you have to come out clean. Yeah. And then this is where your friend will help you. If they decide, okay, fine, I think I can accommodate that kind of thing, we can date. That yeah. will be okay. Yeah. But if I can't accommodate that, let me help yeah. in another way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, anything to add or anything you want to tell someone out there? Uh, to me, uh, <laughs> if you feel like uh, forming a friendship with anyone, do that as soon as possible. But don't force yourself. Mm -hmm. Just be there and uh, whenever you find yourself uh, in a friendship, just respect that mm -hmm. and do what friends do. Mm -hmm. Do not do things that other kind of relationship uh, 
they usually do. Mm -hmm. Just stick to friendship and everything else will uh, uh, come out clear. If anything happens mm -hmm. after, then it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can, if you can accommodate what comes after, yes. it's okay. Yes. If you can't, you will also, you know, they are, yeah, mm. the choices will will matter. Mm. So <laughs> and I, everything has a consequence, yeah. by the so way. If personally, you decide. I, I want to say if, uh, if you are friends or you are friends with someone and you feel like um, I want them in a different uh, way, mm -hmm. like I want to move this friendship to another level, and they refuse, mm -hmm. don't take it personally. Rejection is not personal. They yeah. have reasons as to why they, yeah. they, they really don't want mm -hmm. that. They mm -hmm. enjoy the friend zone mm -hmm. and they don't want to move to the next level. So don't take it too personally so that it has to jeopardize your, your friendship. Yeah. But again, if, if they say, uh, it's okay, but I, uh, no, I, I don't want that kind of thing and uh, I feel like I want personal space for mm -hmm. quite some time to think about it again, give them time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So guys, that has been um, crossing the line from friendship to a romantic relationship. And I hope you've enjoyed the show. And I've been your host, Emily Ferraro. Bye. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye.